All right, let's update you now on an investigation in Edgewater. A boy was killed. His mom, who is pregnant, is seriously injured. Police were called to the home in the 5900 block of North Ravenswood Avenue at about 8 o'clock this morning. Dane Placco joins us now with the latest on what we know so far about what happened. Dane? This is just a horrible story. People who live in the building behind me say they heard screaming and cries for help a little bit before 8 o'clock this morning. They called 911, and Chicago police arrived a few minutes later to find a 33-year-old woman and her 11-year-old son lying on the floor. Both had been stabbed. They were rushed to St. Francis Hospital in Evanston, where the boy died. He's now been identified as J. Doan Perkins. His mother remains in the hospital in critical condition, suffering from multiple stab wounds. She's reportedly eight months pregnant with a baby girl. This afternoon, police took a 37-year-old man into custody who has a long criminal record for domestic violence and violating orders of protection. In fact, the suspect was just released from Stateville Correctional Center yesterday after serving about seven years for a violent attack on what's believed to be the same woman. Her fiancé was out here earlier. While he didn't want to talk on camera, he expressed frustration, saying that she was worried about the suspect being released. Neighbors say they're shaken and stunned by what happened, one describing what she heard just before 8 this morning. Screaming, just screaming, yelling, screaming, help, but I didn't, you know, intervene in it. I'm sorry that this tragic is such a loss. She's a lovely woman. She has lovely children, well-mannered. Her son, he was a great child. The summertime come around, him and my daughter, they play in the yard together. Well-mannered child, and it's just going to be so hard to break this news to my daughter when she come home that she lost a friend. Now, we've also learned that a number of neighbors who live behind this building uh, have surveillance cameras on their garages facing the alley. And there's a significant amount of video, apparently, of this suspect walking back and forth before the attack happened. Presumably, he is going to be charged sometime tonight or tomorrow. Live on the north side, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago.